Hey everybody. Today I wanted to do a quick uh, review on the, the chainsaws that I have out here in Alaska. And just, they really are one of the most important tools for me out here on the homestead. And each saw that I have has a very specific purpose and a very good reason for it. Now a chainsaw is a major purpose, uh, purchase on any homestead. There are some saws out there you can get for 120 bucks and then you can spend all the way up to twelve, fifteen hundred dollars for them. Now each chainsaw has its purpose and its, its use. It just depends what you're going to use it for. Now I've always been a chainsaw guy. I have chainsaws, extra bars, extra chains. I have Alaskan sawmills. So I'm pretty much a chainsaw guy. So with that being said, it's always been a natural fit for me to have more than one chainsaw for different uses. And I'll walk through those uses with you right now. So the first saw I've got right here, this is a Still 441C. This is a big boy. This is a 70cc saw. And you can run an Alaskan chainsaw mill on this. And you can put an 18, you can put a 16 inch bar on this all the way up. The largest bar I use on it is a 30 inch bar. So the one I've got on here right now is 20 inches, and as you can see that extra 10 inches, well, size does matter, guys. And the thing is, with the 441C, it's got all the horsepower you're going to need. There is no tree out here that is a match for this. I could just rip through any tree out here like butter. But the use for this saw is to cut down trees. When you go up to a tree, you select the tree you're going to cut down. My big boy is the saw that I'm going to use to do that with. Once the tree is on the ground, I'm then going to go to a medium saw. Now this right here, I've had this thing for 25 years and it has been an absolute workhorse for me. But I've also taken great care of it too. I told you earlier, I'm a chainsaw guy. I take care of my equipment. I keep it oiled. I always take care of it. When something starts to go wrong, I fix it. It's that simple. So this guy right here is an 029 Super, also known as a farm boss. This right here is like a top of the line homeowner saw. They call it ranch farmhand saw, but be honest with you, the power that comes out of an 029, that's like a top of the line homeowner saw. But still, it still has enough power to when that tree falls on the ground, I go ahead and I buck it up into sections with this saw right here. I don't want to be using that big heavy 441 to do all my bucking with. I use a lighter saw for that. I don't want to wear myself out at the end of the day. Because generally when I start dropping trees, I'm dropping 10, 15, 20 trees in a day. And when I do that, well, at the end of the day, you're pretty sore and beat up no matter what. But there's no reason to beat yourself up on purpose. Especially if you have the tools not to. So, my 029, I've had this thing like I said for almost 20 years now I believe and I've taken great care of it it's never let me down perfect saw it's called the farm boss if you guys are out there ever looking for a saw this one right here is probably gonna run you about two three about 250 300 bucks they no longer make the 029 super but the comparable one is gonna run you three three forty but you can find these used all day long for 250 300 bucks I believe My 441 was $985 brand new, so to give you a, an idea. Okay, so the 441 that I have chops the tree down, it falls, hits the ground. The 029 is what I use to buck it up into sections with. And then just recently, I purchased a little baby saw, a still MS-170. Now the purpose of this little tiny, little tiny guy right here that's to cut all the limbs off the tree. So basically you cut the tree down, you completely limb it up with this little guy right here, and then you buck it up into sections. But for all you chainsaw people out there, you already know that. But let me tell you, one of the hardest parts of felling trees is clearing off all the branches. And I was tired of using my 029 and my 441 to do that. I mean, yeah, it'll get you, it'll get you right up in the shoulders and the arms. But at the end of the day, guys, you were just ripped out sore. And I finally just said, okay. 
So I went and bought this little guy, which is kind of, this is a homeowner saw pretty much. But it was 170 bucks. It's brand new, and I expect to get many years of usage out of it. This right here has already saved me. Oh, guys, you can't even understand. It's just to have these three different saws now is, is an absolute blessing. One to drop the tree, one to buck it up, and one to limit. And I would pretty much say that this is probably the most important saw I have now because limbing up a tree is absolute murder on your body. And I'm getting to the point where I'm tired of murdering my body. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give me the thumbs up. Give me the thumbs down. doesn't matter. I'm good with both of it. Leave me some questions, some comments. would love to talk to you. I'm basically trapped up here in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. would love to talk to people whenever I can. So whenever I do get back into town, I check, I log on to the uh, internet, I check every, all my uh, the responses and whatnot, and I would love to hear from you. Take care of each other and have a great day.